Slade! Many strange things happened to a detective, but this was the first time a dead man ever paid me to find his murderer. notion what he was doing so far away from home. Dead. For glory, king, and God battle cry of the conquistadores when they overran Mexico. There were still questions to be answered. What lock does this key fit? And what was behind the closed door precious enough to have cost a man's life? Slade, keep walking uh, around the stairs. That is enough. Now, clasp your hands behind the back of your neck. I am told you are most dangerous. I cannot take no chances. I mean to search you for a certain key. And if you only attempt to stop me, I will kill you. Just like you did Rance Hale. He is dead? He's dead. Oh, but then, then you must have the key. <laughs> Mr. Slade. Let us search you, eh? Turn around, please. Such violence was not necessary. I did not mean you any harm. Any man pointing a gun at my back doesn't mean me any good, mister. Turn around and march. Hurry up. Inside. Mr. Hale? That's Hale. Too bad. He was ever so close to it. No one was ever so close before. <laughs> one man's loss is uh, another man's gain, eh? Just like life, no? A gamble. Uh, one is permitted to sit. Yes, yeah, sit down and start talking. You mean, uh, you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, mister. Mm. 
This involves much money. Half a million dollars, maybe more. Well, that's the kind of music I like. Keep talking. He started uh, back in 1540. When Hernando Cortez, conqueror of all Mexico, he went back to Spain. He left behind him a treasure, a treasure that he was never going to live to see again. See, much of it was found except the seven sacred emeralds of Quetzalcoatl. Mm hmm Now, what's all that got to do with hail? Yeah. Rain's uh, Norton Hale discovered the hiding place. Oh, sure. So what's he doing here in Denver? Don't you see? Since he came here, and with him, the lost key of Freikatalon, one can but presume that this key will open the door, and that this door is nearby. <laughs> this is not a laughing matter, Mr. Slade. Tell me, before he died, he gave you the key, eh? Maybe. I'm prepared, Mr. Slade, to give you 10% of the treasure for the lost key of Fray Catalon. Only 10%? Well, you're kind of greedy, aren't you there, Mr. Um... Abernal Maria Sandoval Rejon, less descendant of Montezuma. Montezuma? <laughs> Who are you trying to kid, mister? Uh, I do not insist for you to believe me, but to work with me. I will give you a retainer of a... $1,000. That is enough, no? Well, that suits me just fine. Well, say one thing. Suppose I get lucky and find that key, then what? Then... We will go to the lock in which uh, it fits. Hmm? <laughs> oh, uh, now, may I have my gun, please? Why, sure. But, uh, this'll keep us friendly. Senor? Thank you. Ooh, thank you. Shall we? Word travels fast, Mr. Slade. We got company. All right, who is he? Ben Wesley. He is deadly with a gun, among other things. You think he killed Hale? Uh, well, what's he got to do with you, then? Oh, he, he's working for Miss Baxter. You see, she, too, is interested in the emeralds. Oh, just who is Miss Baxter? Oh, I'm sure you will hear from her. Mr. Slade, I would be most grateful if, uh, if you, you would walk me back to my hotel Oh, you're scared of your friend downstairs, huh? Yes. My gun is empty. Oh, that makes sense. Let's go. You looking for something, mister? Blood on the saddle. Well, it's not yours. Now, what were you looking for? Hello, Rahon. Where's Hale? Oh, dead. Oh? Then you must have the key. Oh, no, no. It was not on him. I wasn't born yesterday. Where is it? Hold it, mister. Take it easy. You're an Easterner, aren't you? So? So we don't like that sort of thing around here. You counting yourself in? Both feet. I'm not carrying a gun. Oh? Well, neither am I. We don't 
don't do that around here either. Just... Here, take this and get out of here. You will feel sorry you did not kill that man, Mrs. Slate. Remember my word. Go on, get out. like Ray Hahn doesn't like you. You siding with him? I play my own game, mister. That's more like it. Come on, shake it up. Miss Baxter wants to see you. People get hurt talking to me like that. Myself, I wouldn't be caught dead with you. But I've got orders. Miss Baxter says she'll make it worth your while. Well, now you're being polite. Are you coming with me? Just lead the way. <laughs> All right. Mr. Slade? That's right. How nice of you to come. Well, thank you. Well, the bait was tempting, but if I'd have known what to expect, I certainly wouldn't have needed it. Thank you. Won't you uh, sit down? Thank you. I don't know why you came to Denver, but I'm uh, certainly glad you did. Would you like a drink? Look, uh, let's get right down to business, shall we? Now, there's a dead man up in my office. Ray Horn shoved a gun in my back, and uh, your messenger boy out there just tried to slap me around. A little too much happening around here without somebody coming up with some answers. You're the sort of man I appreciate, Mr. Slade. Perhaps you'll tell me if you have the key? Well, let's suppose we talked about the jewels first. You learned fast. Well, that's why I'm still alive. <laughs> Please don't move. Ben? Search him. On your feet. Now, I'm awfully sorry to have to do this, but a lot depends on who has this key. Now, if you have it, we'll make one sort of a deal. And if you haven't, you'll simply go back to your office and forget about the whole thing. Oh, you think so, huh? It's not on him. Where'd you hide it, Mr. Slade? Well, just how much is it worth to you? A thousand dollars? Oh, I've had a much better offer. Let me work him over, Miss Baxter. I've got a score to settle with him. Where's that key? Looks like a standoff, Mr. Slade. Sure does. Well, shall we? Now, you get out of here and stay out of my way. I still say I can take you. <laughs> well, any time you're ready, mister. Ben, that's enough. Now, how would you like that drink? Well, frankly, I could use a drink. But this time, I'd like to have it in the glass, if you don't mind. To us. May we find the emeralds and live to enjoy them. Just supposing I did have the key. Do you know what it fits? Maybe. Look, all it takes is just one straight answer. I won't lie to you, I've never seen the key. But the story goes that the key itself will tell you where the lock is. What? Well, there's some sort of a jingle. It goes, um, well, let's see. If you, oh yes, if you have eyes to read and the mind to understand, the lock will be found close at hand. Oh, then if I have the key, I don't need you, do I? That is exactly what I'm worried about. You see, I've searched for many years for these emeralds, Mr. Slade, and I intend to have them. Tell me, 
Just where did Rance Hale figure into this? Oh, he was my husband. Your husband? Surprised? Lady, nothing you'd tell me will surprise me anymore. Everything he had he got from me and then he turned on me. Wasn't much of a man. Not the least like you. I'm surprised you even bothered with him. Well, I don't know how I got involved in this, but I made a deal with him and I live up to it. The key. Do you have it? Mm-hmm. Where? Well, if I told you that, I'd be just about as dead as your late husband. Better give me time to think about it. Until tonight. Until tonight. I will thank you for the key, Mr. Slade. I assure you, this gun is no longer empty. The key. You know, I've spent many years trying to find it. So I thank you, Mr. Slade, for at last bringing it to me. Again, this violence! All right, cut the tears, mister. We're going upstairs to my office and have this thing out once and for all. So far, it's been all conversation. But maybe there are no emeralds. Oh, maybe you're all just playing a little ring around the rosy to cover up the murder of Hale. Oh, no, no, no. I have not lied to you, Mr. Oh, Slade. Oh, we'll see about that. Come on. Go on. I mean, suppose you found the key in Santa Fe, that means the lock would be there. So you found the key in Denver, that means the lock is here. Now, it can't be all over the place at the same time, can it? No, you see, what, what you seem to forget, Mrs. Slade, is that Hale brought it here. Yeah. M Mr. Slade, would you object if I l look at the key? All right. Just don't make me use violence to get it back. For Gloria, Rey y Dios. Perhaps the secret is buried with the dead. This don't mean nothing to me, Mr. Slade. These words inscribed are all over old buildings in Mexico. <laughs> yes, but we're home. Not in Denver. Don't you see? All we've got to do is just find one building. Now you believe it, huh? Oh, forget it. Forget it. I wasted a lifetime. Mr. Slade, take a warning from this fool. Dreams are only true while they last. And my dream? <laughs> How you say? Is but a castle in Spain. Right on. Here. Adios. The answer was right there in front of me. It either had to be the church or the Spanish cemetery. The Spanish cemetery. It was here long before the Louisiana Purchase, before Zebulon Pike sighted his mountain peak from the plains. To here and to Kansas came the Spaniards seeking the fabled golden cities of Cibola. Although they found no golden cities, they left their dead.
right, my friends, I'm ready to listen to some propositions. I found the jewels. Now, what's in it for me? Well, well why don't you... Now, don't all start talking at once. Uh, now, please, do not forget that I was the first to offer you 10%. Don't worry, Ray Horn, I'm not forgetting. But don't you forget. Supposing you can't unload them, then what? You've got the stones, and I'm stuck with 10% of nothing. I'm sorry, Ray Horn. It's got to be cash on the line. Miss Baxter? You're sure you have them? I held them right in my hand this very afternoon. 5,000 on delivery. <laughs> what kind of a sucker do you think I am anyway? Don't you think that I know as soon as you have possession of those jewels that Ben here would give me a bad case of lead poisoning? Oh, no. Must be money on the table. Afraid you just can't afford to kill me. Now, how soon do I get the money? Ben, get it from the safe. Oh, uh, I suggest you bring a cloak along, Miss Baxter. It's kind of chilly where we're going. I'm sorry, Ray Horn. Looks like you got counted out of this. For the years that I have lost, I beg of you, Miss Baxter, may I at least see them? Of course. Thank you. Now, there it is. Here. underneath. Not yet, Miss Baxter. The money first, please. Ben. Thank you very much, Ben. They're all yours. Half a million dollars. Three money-mad people trail of death. I hadn't forgotten what brought me into this. The murder of Rance Norton Hale. Now in just a few seconds, Sheriff, you'll hear the snarling of the jackals as they fight over the spoils. Feeds on itself and then destroys itself. We better get it to a doctor. The emeralds, they're going to stay right where they are. The ancient gods will sleep easier. <laughs> 